Now let's look at the facade pattern over in Angular. Now I've taken everything we just had on the node side and dropped it into a plunk in Angular. So to look at it, we've got our task.js, which now is just a series of properties. There's no methods or anything, nothing on the prototype like we used to have. It's just like this. I have a task repo, which is a task service, which is this ugly, nasty looking service that we had over on the node side. It's got a bunch of complete, set complete, notify, all that stuff that's on here. And then we have in our script.js, I'm creating a new task with all of these things. And then when you check this checkbox, it's going to do the same thing we were doing before. So complete task, when you check the checkbox, it calls complete task and it passes in the index. If you look at index.html, there we go. And you click controller.complete dollar index. And it's going to do this same thing. It's going to complete it. If it's completed, it's going to set the complete date, notify completion, task.save, all of that stuff. And it's gross and we don't like it, but you know what? It works when I click the checkbox, there you go, everything works. So let's build a facade over top of our task repo and fix that. So we're gonna create a new file called task service facade. Now you wouldn't in production necessarily call this a facade. Uh, you'd either call it a, you could call it a wrapper or you can just call it whatever makes sense for your application. I'm explicitly calling it facade just because that's the pattern that we're talking about. All right, so in our task service facade, do our iffy. Now I haven't talked about this up till now, but there's some you know discussion over whether we put that second here or in here. I like to put it inside like this because when I'm teaching classes or I'm training people, I can say, make a little face. So you've got an eyeball and nose and eyeball. And that way, it's just an easy way to say, hey, if something's not working, make sure you've got your face going on. So this is the way I do my iffies. It's not. It's not the way everybody does it, but that's either way it will work. Now, inside our iffy, we are going to pretty much do the same thing we do over here on our service, right? We're going to create, well, first of all, we got to pull in our app. So var app equals angular dot module task manager. And then we're going to create a function task service facade equals a function. And then we're going to export that. Well, not export it, but we're going to do an app dot service equals uh, not equals because we know that won't be good task service facade all right now inside this function we're going to take exactly what we had over on the node side you know this task wrapper or we called it a task wrapper on the node side this task service facade is just going to be one function complete and notify that's going to do some stuff now we've got to pull in our task repo now task repo is task service all lowercase like that. So we're going to tell Angular, hey, I need task service. And then since it's differently case, we got to paste some stuff in there. Okay. Now that's the wrapper. It's the same as it was over on the node side. Basically, we've just built a method called complete and notify that takes a task and then does the stuff that we want done on the task service. And then we return using the revealing module pattern, that function. Now in script.js, we're gonna copy this because in script.js, we need this passed in. So I'm gonna just add it for right now. Ideally, we would be replacing it with task service, but you're not always gonna replace all of the functionality of task service in an ideal world you would, but you know, can't always do that. So in this case, I'm just gonna add my task service facade. And then instead of all this code, we're just going to delete all that and do our completed notify on this task that we pulled out. And it's task service wrapper dot complete and notify on my task. So what we should see is this same thing happen again, but now with just this one line of code. So before I get carried away though, we do need to add this JavaScript file, copy that into our index.html. That's going to be important. All right. Now let's refresh, hit my task, and there we go. Completing task, my task, my task completed. Everything's done, but I got all of that junk out of this function by wrapping my task service with this facade. So that's the facade pattern. It's, there's no magic here. There's, it might seem even a little simplistic. Yes, we're just taking code out of 
one place and we're putting in someplace else. And we might add a little bit more to it, but remember, our, the goal here isn't to add functionality. The goal is to mask chaos. And that's what we're doing here is we're taking the all those function calls we had to do in order to interact with that one service and we're hiding them inside a facade so that it simplifies our controller. And really, if we're talking best practices, you want to keep your controllers and your business logic separated out and keep your controller code as small as you can, just so that it's easier to read and much more maintainable. So the more you can pull things out and, and hide grossness with some facades, the more maintainable your code's going to be.